The month of October is also a time to spread awareness on liver cancer. Liver cancer affects many Americans each year. Here to talk about this today, the signs and symptoms, and the importance of early detection is Dr. Oscar K. Serrano, a transplant and hepabiliary surgeon at Hartford HealthCare. I hope I pronounced that right, doctor. It's about a biliary. Thank you. Okay. You were close. All right. So what is liver cancer and what are some signs and symptoms that one may have liver cancer? So when we talk about liver cancer, we're talking about hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatocellular carcinoma is the most common primary liver cancer. That means that it comes from the liver itself because obviously we know that there are many cancers that can go to the liver. There's approximately uh, uh, one million cases worldwide every year. And even though it's only the sixth most common uh, cause of cancer in the world, it's the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths. So in the United States, we see approximately 42,000 people. That's what we expect in 2021. And about 30,000 will die uh, in 2021 as a result of it. All right. What should someone expect after receiving a liver cancer diagnosis? Well, unfortunately, liver cancer is one of those diseases that presents uh, very late in the disease. Uh, that means that when patients start having symptoms, they are already very advanced in their disease course. Most people that um, have liver cancer are walking around uh, like normal people without even knowing it. And that's why it's so important for us to develop screening programs and for those individuals that are at high risk um, go and seek uh, medical attention so they could be screened and regularly be screened for liver cancer. For those individuals that unfortunately present late in the disease, we would expect um, symptoms that are consistent with liver failure. So we're talking about abdominal pain, unexplained weight loss, um, fatigue, jaundice. That means uh, when someone's uh, skin turns yellow or sometimes very rarely we'll see patients who have uh, um, a hard lump under their rib cage on the right side, but that those are the minority of patients because, like I said, um, the, those are very advanced cases, and by then uh, they will have been diagnosed. All right, how do you typically treat a patient with liver cancer? So, liver cancer is actually a fascinating disease because there are so many ways that you can treat a liver cancer, and it, it is especially um, dictated upon the stage of presentation. The further uh, in stage that a patient presents, the less options that one has available for them. So, for instance, someone who presents early in the disease and may not have significant liver disease, by far the most effective curative treatment is surgery. Um, for someone who presents with maybe a slightly larger cancer, uh, they may have some underlying liver disease that precludes them from surgery, there are other treatments called local regional therapies. That means that we may not necessarily need to do a big surgery, but we have treatments such as uh, microwave uh, ablation, radio frequency ablation, we could do external beam radiation, as well as a bunch of other modalities. Unfortunately, for patients who present very advanced in the disease or who may not be surgical candidates because they are um, either too sick or too frail, then there's other systemic therapies. And of course, one of the most effective uh, therapies that are included within the surgery branch is liver transplantation All right. but of course doctor, liver transplantation we are out of, are out of time i'm so sorry nope. good information oh. dr o oscar serrano thank you for joining